maybe in a minute. Who's Lord Lever you, Mike? A bit more firmer. Who taught you English, Mike? Definitely, definitely bring you allies. Maybe in a minute. Morning. Another quick one today. Doing a sort of three mile circular from Brimstage through Thornton Hoff back to Brimstage. I came to see Lever Causeway, which is a massive tree lined avenue that was originally made by Lord Lever Hume. Who's Lord Lever Hume, Mike? Good question, Mike. Lord Levy Hume is the guy that built the model village at Port Sunlight for all his workers. Now, in the words of Jeremy Clarkson, the well-known philosopher, some say all of these tree-lined avenues that he made was just so he could get to work and get home in his house at Thornton Hough. Others say that all of these tree-lined areas that we can see all around us and we'll get a better look as we walk up um were meant to be for new housing estates that he was going to build and they never ever got built now the lever causeway that i knew the one that i grew up starts up in bevington it's fully tarmacked you can drive up and down it's about a mile long that's tree line too not many other people know that it crosses where the m53 is now comes all the way down and all the way up there towards Thought Nuff. Now, unfortunately, where I started my walk at Brimstitch Hull, um, I walked up the rather precarious road and I don't know if you can see that, but from here, there's no public right away. If you cross over the road, I can see a footpath, but that's not the way I want to go. So, luckily for me, I've done a walk around here before. So, I'm going to head back towards Brimstage and start the walk from there. Let's have a look. Baby, you know we're the same. It could be glorious, 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 glorious. Right. Full disclaimer, I have walked this route before. And this field that you approach straight off the main road, last time we came, was absolutely full of cows. So if you're not a big fan of cows, maybe just do three quarters of this route and cut this bit out to find an alternative way. But we did pass with no issues at all. Day. 
oh, there I am, hi. So, all of that is part of Lever Causeway. I really wanted to sort of walk down. We can understand what to keep people off here. We'll get another view of it in a bit. We we'll just need to cross these fields and we'll cut, cut back across to it. What a gorgeous day. Look at it. Still boggy and muddy, mate, but the sun's out. said it before, I'll say it again, living on the Wirral is absolutely amazing. Right then, once you've crossed all the fields across, you might be tempted to follow the field down into the corner. You can do that, but as it's really boggy and wet, if you go through the gap here, it's like a little ditch, it's a bit more firmer. Bit more firmer? Bit more firm? Firmer. Bit more firm. Bit more firmer. Who taught you English, mate? It's firmer. Ignore the grammar, but don't ignore the path. Don't stray from the path. what walkers are lovely absolutely lovely just come across lovely older gentleman just warned me about this field about how slippy muddy and treacherous it is so for the second consecutive walk let's see if I land on me bum walk today. Usually I don't see anybody or I'm guilty of this a lot. People walking with their heads down so they don't have to engage with people. The last two gentlemen I've just spoken to absolutely lovely. I'm just out enjoying nature. Whew. Not even halfway.
needs more of that lovely causeway. I can see people on it. I can see people on it before. Now I don't know whether they're part of the Lever Hume Estate people or whether they're not. It's awfully confusing because there's a gate and it looks like it's a public right away. But there isn't. It's way off that way. One's a gate, not a gate. One is a way around. Right, we just follow this now. Right across loads of fields. And it should bring us back around the back of Brimstage. Back to the car. This is going down as a November, December welly walk. I said welly walk. Okie dokie. So by the time you get to this bit, you've only got about half an hour left. This will eventually, if you don't drown in all the mire first, will eventually bring you back out into the road just at the back of Brimstage Hall. I'll show you that in a sec. Fact, if you look quite closely, just there are the roofs of Brimstage Hall. So not far to go at all. Definitely, definitely bring your wellies. And we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm Here you have it. We're back. Back at Brimstead. A little over three miles, a little over an hour and 45 with a bit of me faffing and the detour. 
Thanks for watching.